As I mentioned in an earlier video, using a hand plane can be an extremely satisfying experience when things are working well. However, it can also be an extremely frustrating experience when things aren't working so well. In this section, I'm going to discuss a few common issues that you might experience with your hand plane and how to address those issues. But before we get started, let me offer this quick word of caution. Resist the urge to perform the fixes that I'm going to discuss in this section unless your plane is experiencing the symptoms associated with a particular issue. If your plane is working just fine as is, you could do more harm than good by doing too much fettling. The first issue that you might experience with your plane is mouth clogging. If the mouth of your plane seems to get all stuck and jammed up with shavings, here are a couple of solutions you can try. You'll note here that the mouth of this plane is getting all clogged up with shavings. I'm getting wood stuck here. The first thing we're going to try is to move the frog back because what could be happening is that the shavings could just be getting stuck between the front edge of the mouth and the front edge of the cap iron. To move the frog back, we'll remove the lever cap and blade set. You can see all those shavings there. We'll just barely loosen the screws that hold the frog to the main casting. And then we're going to give the screw, frog adjusting screw, a counterclockwise turn, maybe a quarter to a half of a turn. That's going to move this frog backward in the plane body. Now, if your plane doesn't have a frog adjusting screw, that's okay. You can just do it by hand. Again, just loosen the two screws and use your fingers to slightly push the frog backwards and feel with your fingers to make sure things aren't twisted. You want to make sure that the front edge of the frog is staying parallel with the mouth. Also, don't go too far because you want to make sure the front edge of the frog here doesn't get behind the rear edge of the mouth because if it does, the blade could contact the main casting and it could put a bend or pressure on the blade. So once you have the frog adjusting screw or the frog moved back, we can retighten those screws that are holding everything down, clean out any stuck shavings, and we can reinstall the blade. If after moving the frog back, you're still getting shavings stuck in the mouth, the next thing to check is that the cap iron mates well with the cutting blade. If the cap iron isn't mating well with the flat face of the cutting iron, shavings can get caught in that gap between the cap iron and the cutting iron, and that will cause the mouth to clog up. To improve the fit between the cap iron and cutting iron, We'll use a diamond stone or a mill file to dress the inside edge of the cap iron. Now the steel in a cap iron is very soft, so a file or a diamond stone will work just fine. There's no need to go to a high-speed grinder or anything like that, and doing so would probably only make matters worse. To address the edge of the cap iron, we're going to put the edge of the cap iron on the stone or the file, and we're gonna hold that at an angle below the surface of the stone. You don't wanna get this cap iron up at a high angle. If you do, the back side of the bevel will contact the face side of the blade rather than the front edge of the cap iron. And what that's gonna do is create a gap all the way across the front edge of the cap iron that you'll never be able to close no matter how much you tighten that screw. So keeping the angle low, I'm gonna use a motion just like I did flattening the face of the iron and I'm going to rub that bevel on the stone. And as you can see, if you use a little permanent marker, it's gonna show you your progress. So 
So hone the inside edge of your cap iron until you have a nice even polish all the way across. So now, when we put the iron set back together, the cap iron should contact the face side of the cutting iron nice and flat all the way across and we should not have any gap between the cap iron and cutting iron. If the top outside edge of your cap iron is really rough or pitted from rust, that might also cause some roughness and, and cause some catching of shavings. So you could also touch that up with a little light sandpaper, um, give that a little polish, and a little paste wax wouldn't hurt either to help the shavings ride over that cap iron. So if you're having problems with the mouth of your plane clogging with shavings, try these two solutions. These two issues are the most common issues or the most common causes of a clogging mouth in an iron bench plane.